Twitter's actually dying. No need for dilly dally. You already know what we're here to talk about. Twitter is the gift that just keeps on giving. Like a birthday party clown that never runs out of ribbon to pull out of his thumb. And it makes me continue to burp and clap while smiling. It's a beautiful disaster. A blunder that never ends. It reminds me of like that cheese rolling competition that happens every year in the UK. Where they throw a cheese wheel cheese wheel down like... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all do this in the UK? UK, 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 UK. It's this, this, this is the type of time y'all be on. A really you steep know. hill, and people just throw themselves down the hill, hurting themselves the whole way, tumbling, chasing after that cheese wheel. That's Twitter, constantly hurting itself in pursuit of that cheese. And in this case, it's the big cheese, the biggest cheese, money. Twitter is a platform that just burns money forever, and with Elon Musk at the helm now, it is desperate to start turning some kind of profit or at least mitigate the losses as best as possible. Because obviously you don't want to own a business that just keeps taking spaghetti out of your bank account here forever and burning it. So they've been coming up with all kinds of different plans in order to try and make Twitter generate some level of money. And I Yo, followed it pretty BBG. closely. I've made quite I'm not a few gonna videos be able to tune in much tonight, but hoping for a W stream and love you all. But I haven't talked about Good it luck very on much. the events. Even though they Fire. have made Thank some you, decisions Fire. that I still Fire. think are comically bad. For example, you can now no longer even access any Twitter content unless you log in. I Every noticed that, months. bro. You can't even look at Twitter. You know what I'm saying? You can't even look like somebody, somebody getting clapped on Twitter no more unless you logged in. That's crazy. That's wild. That's 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 crazy. You try to go on Twitter browser right now. You don't have an account. That's tough. You not you not you can't even you can't even see that. That's tough. Question mark. Why? What, 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 what do you, what's wrong? Uh, I'm sorry. So if you try and Kato, thank tweet. you for the three months. Ju, thank you for the one month. MX, thank you for the dollar. Rick, thank you for the 100 bits. Watch a Twitter video or anything like that and you're not logged in on desktop, you just get taken right to the sign-in page, which I think is a luxury afforded only to Twitter. That is the only platform that can get away with that. Imagine if you went on YouTube and it wouldn't allow you to watch any videos until you signed in. Imagine. It imagine. Well, to be fair, chat, keep this stack. Doesn't Twitter have an age threshold? How many of y'all lied about y'all age before to get into a platform? Like... I'm pretty sure on some on platforms they have, they definitely a lot of platforms they have an age requirement. I'm pretty sure everybody has. I don't see a single dot me. I don't see a single dot me nowhere, bro. Yo, I'm your fan about telling you. Now I'm not gonna say I I I have done that before, but um C4, mm -hmm. thank you for the prime. And uh, Marco, thank you for the two months. Thank y'all for all the sub love. I appreciate you. And I see y'all. I see y'all. Y'all go crazy. It killed the platform. But Twitter is more addicting than heroin. And the people that are hooked on the product perpetually need their the fix. PBH. It reminds me of Bane from Batman. How he constantly has those tubes that are filtering that juice, that venom into his body in order for him to live. That's a lot of people's relationship with Twitter. They fucking need that poison in their life. So if they're forced yeah. to log in to even view anything on the platform, they'll do it without a second thought, really, with a smile on their face. But it's really the only platform that can get away with it. They're the only platform afforded that luxury. Other platforms like YouTube, again, for example, would absolutely see a drastic decrease in the amount of traffic that they get. Platforms like Reddit, too, I imagine, if you have to How many of y'all even use Twitter like that? I'd like to say, I don't use Twitter as... Twitter's probably my least used platform but i still use twitter to look at news like if i'm looking at if i'm looking for news i'll go on twitter i'm not gonna lie like if i'm looking for news or trending stuff or st like streamer news or whatever the case may go i mostly go on twitter you know what i'm saying if i'm looking for memes i'll go on twitter you know what i'm saying but like i won't be on there i don't use twitter so much like some people like some people like live on twitter though i use it all the time yeah i i, I definitely use i definitely use twitter twitter a l like a little bit but i don't use it as much as, as, as other people i'd be on twitter to see leaks log in to read anything on the platform would also see a significant drop off but we're not here to talk about that change instead i want to focus on the big change from today and that is Elon Musk finally targeting data scrapers. Did you hear, Rod, uh, you heard what, wait, what did he say? Rod, you heard what happened with Jalen Green and Jaws Christopher. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. Because that is probably some of, that is, that clip that I saw yesterday on Twitter is probably some of the most suspect, not even suspect. That was just, that was, that was dead ass. Like, that was, that was probably one of the most overly Zest delicious stuff I've ever seen on Twitter in my fucking life. I'm not going to cap to you. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, 
there was this video yesterday. I literally, actually, it's literally on Twitter right now. I can't link it. I can't link it. I, I, I tweeted about it. I tweeted about it. I think. I think I tweeted about it. I don't know if y'all can, can see, but I can't. I don't even want to link to it. I don't even want to link to it. Look. What happened? Oh, wait. Can I, did, I, did I tweet about it? Did I tweet about it? Oh, it got deleted. It got deleted. I did tweet about it. It got deleted. But look, it's basically, it's basically, um, two, um, two players, right? It's two players. They're literally, there's a dude on the bed and there's another dude standing up and he is dry humping him nutsack to nutsack what he both got pants on. But he's literally both legs, bro grabbing both legs and is humping him repeatedly with another dude watching in awe all in the same room and he's doing it over and over and i swear on everything i love that and bro i'm not gonna cap that is literally the craziest one of the craziest clips i've ever seen in my life like at that point you do like men at that point you do like men bro i'm not gonna cap it was caught on camera bro was humping him nutsack to nutsack Legs open, missionary position. I'm not gonna hold you. I couldn't believe my eyes yesterday, bro. Proof. Even if, even if I could show you, I wouldn't show you. I'm not gonna capture you. Uh, but you can literally go find that on Twitter if that's something that you want to go look at. But I don't know why you want to go look at that. I only seen it because Max sent it to me. Tobias, the fuck I just joined to. Don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it. But yes, to answer your question, yes, I did see it. I did see it. Now, I wish I didn't, but I did see it. Um, let's continue on the Charlie video. Which is a legitimate problem. Uh, I want to make this very clear up front. Data scraping is actually a problem. Yo, somebody said I just joined and you're on the whole, the TV whole fam in the room. I'm Michael Hood, you came in at the, literally the craziest moment. <laughs> Michael Hood, you, yeah. <laughs> That is a wild moment to turn on uh, turn on the chip. That is so crazy. Yo. That is that is such a wild moment. I'm not gonna hold you. We here at BVG Studios do not reflect any uh sexual nature of any kind. We do not uh use any profanity. We do not uh discriminate upon anybody, racial or sexual orientation. Um it was just news that we were speaking on and it was very, very, very bad incorrect timing. Um but just so you know, that is not what we stand for, that's not incorrect. And your son or daughter um uh, was not doing anything wrong. They just happened to come into a bad part. They are not watching a, a streamer who who is is politically incorrect or uh is gonna treat them badly or is gonna put them on the wrong path. I say that, but they literally just came into that part. That that was that's a crazy, 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 crazy <laughs> problem. I didn't realize how oh, big man. of a problem it was for so many companies until I watched Mudahar's video on it. Tell me and cap. And data scraping is extremely expensive, and there is so many people exploiting a lot of like API and just in general a lot of shady shit going on with data scraping that it is something that does require a solution. But this is Elon Musk's solution, and it's basically just kill the host as well as the parasite. Yeah. So he's imposing a limitation on all accounts. So he says, to address extreme levels of data scraping and system manipulation, we've applied the following temporary limits. Verified accounts are limited to reading 6,000 posts a day, unverifi unverified accounts up bro, to 600 posts whooped, per day, bad, and new ver unverified accounts Time to, to 300 them. posts per day. Now, to be clear, this just means if you see this many posts, it's not about how many times you post. If you post something, it counts as one on your daily Twitter allowance. But if you scroll past a post, that still counts. So anything you scroll by, anything at all on Twitter counts as posts. So if you scroll through like 10 comments, that's 10 of your 300 posts for the day if you're a new unverified account. So people have been speed running to see how long it takes to reach this limit. And right now, I believe this is the world record, 2 minutes and 33 seconds. Damn! Bro, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it was literally that bad, bro. It was that bad. I was thinking, bro, I don't look at no, I don't look at 600 posts on Twitter a day anyway. I guarantee, bro, within 10 minutes, within like four or five refreshes, I already saw that rate limit shit. I was like, bro, nah, this is crazy. But keep in mind, this any percent route here is about two minutes worth of time loss to setting up the account itself. So the speed run goes from actual nothing you don't have an account to then going through the captures going through the codes the emails he and all made an account and everything like that was all in that video all that 
and it's about two minutes to set up your account and then the other 33 seconds is spent scrolling and then this is what you get at the very end of your journey here i was Great. pissed bro bro there was a girl there was a girl who was like um uh, so what she say chat she was like yo i'm not going to the dude who has his tv on please mute your tv for now i'm not going to um because this doesn't reflect it but i'm just i'm just giving an example um but there was this girl on twitter who was talking about yo now nobody can see tweets no more like for uh, i'm about to release uh my tape in the comments i looked in the comments this is what i seen i couldn't even look i couldn't even look i couldn't even look she's like if you like this i'll, I'll release it in the comments or something like that bro i couldn't even look i couldn't even i couldn't even look bro Rate limit exceeded. Why are you trying to look? I mean, why not? But it limit exceeded. And most people get this within the first couple of minutes if it's a new unverified account. Now, for older Maybe unverified accounts, it. it goes up to 600 per day. So double that. Uh, you, you basically get like about 10 minutes. At, at being very generous, you'd get about 10 minutes worth of scrolling for your unverified account before you get the rate limit exceeded now if you have like a, the twitter blue boy scout badge six thousand posts per day is blue? probably what a normal person will be fine with i don't think many people aside from like actual hard addicts and power users of twitter are going to scroll past six thousand posts oh, per day so that one probably isn't going to give any twitter blue enthusiasts a big time. problem but the other two basically restrict everyone's access to the site to only a handful of minutes he does say that this is just like a temporary thing so a band-aid for the data scraping problem not sure exactly how long they're going to engage in this social experiment of self-destruction but he is saying up front that it is temporary so i guess it's just going to be a matter of waiting to see how long it continues so did y'all say it was fixed my my, my twitter bb bbg people like did y'all say um y'all say y'all say that um the dream was was fixed or is it still is it still like that right now i don't know it's sure. not it's not fixed now this is good and bad because i've been very vocal about how awful i think twitter is as a platform for the mental health of everyone that uses it so anything that gets people off the platform for an extended period of time i think is a good thing it gets them doing other things that aren't just brain rot on twitter to be fair if you have twitter blue bro and you're going through 6k messages i don't really see a single person with twitter blue complaining I'm not gonna hold you. If you're going through 6K messages and you have Twitter blue, it's not gonna lie. There's something wrong. I ain't gonna cap you. I'm not gonna hold you. That's actually that's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But of course, as a platform, it does provide real value to a lot of people as well. So Whatever for a lot wants, of like businesses or gets. artists or anything like that that Even rely on Twitter months. in order for marketing or in order to get their right content out, it's very rough because so many people are going to hit their rate and not see what you're posting, or you won't see what they're posting if, if it's something that you actively check in on. And of course, Twitter is invaluable when it comes to like real world important events. Like a lot of times that news breaks on Twitter and people follow it there. But with the new Twitter allowance here for what you're allowed to see a, a day, you'd have a very hard time keeping up with a developing story, mm -hmm. especially like, let's say it's in your go area. So it'd be like really important. Y'all should all go speed run Twitter and see how long before you get this. Um, somebody said, how you do your sub count? You, if, oh, I'm on Streamlabs, you go to plus, you hit subscriber, and then you just custom settings it. You know what I'm saying? I hope that wasn't too confusing, but I can't give a whole tutorial. But yeah, you just hit plus on sources and hit subscriber. To you, if you hit your Twitter allowance, you know, you exceed your rate, you now get cut off from that information. So there is like an actual problem here with this system. It's a bit deeper and than just, ah, just go touch grass now, loser. This is a good thing. You're free. You can go touch grass there is like an actual underlying issue with this whole format so it is a big issue overall and you can see why this would kill the platform if you can only use it for you know 10 minutes per day it's not exactly going to be something that stands the test of time it becomes less of a social i swear i was on that drink for 10 minutes before it fucked up bro i'm not gonna lie one Media minute and 28 seconds god damn why did you know that lana streaming yeah i know that's lana streaming um again mods go pin the joint if you haven't followed lana you know what i'm saying then go ahead and follow Lana on her stream you know what i'm saying y'all already got her to 2.4k which is actually insane alana should be become alana should be an affiliate within like 
two more streams three more streams actually but nah y'all 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 doing a good job over there. platform and more of like a mobile game daily quest that you do in a couple of minutes and then you're done for the day which is exactly what no, mudahar Brian. said in his video and he's right on the nose with it that's 100 percent correct the number one thing that online companies are salivating over is how to keep you on their platform it's the reason YouTube has such a robust recommend. Love you, Rob, but a goddamn Twitch ad is annoying as fuck. What you talking about? This joint right here? Don't forget to subscribe and hit that follow button. Before we begin, don't forget to like and sub. You talking about that one? Ended algorithm. It's constantly feeding you videos it thinks you want to watch because if it's things you want to watch, you stay on the platform for a longer period of time. All of these companies are fighting for your time. They want to keep you there as long as possible. With this new Twitter policy they're now driving you away from the platform as quickly as possible so they're trying to target data scraping to start to solve that problem but they're giving themselves a new problem which is uh, 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 nobody's this, this going to be able to use the service anymore you are driving users off of the platform in a matter of minutes for the vast majority of your user base. Mm. They can't spend time on your platform even if they wanted to because mm. you are limiting the amount of time they can spend there. And that's a chat. Imagine whatever. Okay, what platform do y'all do you use like that? Imagine like your favorite platform or the platform you use most be doing this. Like imagine if, if YouTube did this. Like you only watch a certain amount of YouTube videos, like 10 YouTube videos a day. Or... You can only watch like 30 TikToks before you get like the the joint. Pinterest, Pinterest is crazy. I'm not gonna lose you. I think it'd be fine. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Mibki, I see you. I see you. I see you. Um, Insta, like imagine if if if, if that shit, I use Kick every day. YouTube and Reddit, I think it'd be fine on Reddit. I'm not gonna lie. I think I think you might want to take a break anyway. Quora, I've never seen a real human being use Quora ever. I'm not gonna lose you. Did you make that shit on PlayStation Share a Factory? The fuck is what, what is what is on PlayStation Share Factory? Um, who's saying PH Grinder? I'm pretty sure they have limits on 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 apps like those, bro. But like, if that's your type of vibe, then I mean, Hive Social. What's Hive? What is Hive Social? What Hive Social? The Hub would kick. I'm not a Roblox. I know, Bree, I'm not going to hold you. You do need to make a thing where uh, it stops you from playing Roblox because I'm not going to lie, you be cooked. Drastically. Again, unverified accounts can't spend very long on the platform at all, a handful of minutes per day. So they're going to go to competing services. So it should be pretty obvious why Twitter would oh, likely be joints? buried if this becomes their permanent solution to the data scraping problem. Mm. It won't be a site that's able to exist anymore because it won't have a user base left. Because they literally would not be able to use the platform because they'll hit their rates so quickly. It's what's been happening all day to so many accounts. And Elon Musk recognized that as well. He must have seen that so many people were instantly exceeding their rate and being cut off from the service. So he increased it to 8k. Bro added, for unverified accounts, bro added 200 more, bro. It was at 600, bro added 200 more posts. Like that was really going to do some shit. I'm not going to cap. I'm telling y'all, within 10 to 15 minutes, that dream was already gone for most people I know. 800 and 400. That 400 makes pretty much no difference. That is negligible. That'll give you an extra five seconds worth of scrolling. So that's who gives a shit. The 800 gives you maybe another couple of minutes of scrolling. And then the 8,000 doesn't really matter because that wasn't the biggest issue with the change. Or maybe I'm dreadfully underestimating just how addicted people are to Twitter. Like to maybe be fair, people, if you got a Twitter blue, I don't know how addicted you is to Twitter. I'm not going to catch you. I'm not going to lose you. Are scrolling past more than 6,000 or 8,000 posts per day. But regardless, he increased the limit because so many people were hitting it so quickly. As I was recording this video, he increased it again to 10,000, 1,000, and then 500. The 500 is still, once again, not so a big... So it's, it's not fixed, chat. ...difference. You're still going to have to be rationing your time on the platform to make sure you don't see unnecessary tweets that take away from your allowance. So that is, again, still not going to be a big deal. It adds maybe an extra three seconds to the speedrun route. The 1,000 for unverified accounts that have existed for a while, that might be, you know, like... May, like let's just be super generous and say that it gives you, like, a full hour worth of scrolling on Twitter if you do it at like a very leisurely pace and you painstakingly read everything you scroll by like maybe that'll give you like an hour 
but then once again increasing the twitter blue to 10,000 this is just starting to highlight that i might just be really out of touch with how addicted people really are yeah we basically, we basically got the gist of it good video from charlie but yeah chat the whole twitter shit is actually one of the worst decisions i've ever seen made temporary or not temporary bro like that joint is bad love your bro. streams and youtube videos you're so my favorite streamer i appreciate Keep you bro thank you man work, thank you chat that joint is actually probably one of the worst updates i've ever seen in my entire life you know what i'm saying but hopefully tomorrow it'll be it'd be it'd be back to normal I that twitch does twitch have competition does does twitch have competition um okay